You should have been there. I will probably remember it for the rest of my life, this time of year, every year. Hi, I'm June Klein. I'm the Southern Sassy and Savvy Humorist, helping people, teams, and companies to lighten up and have fun so they can get paid more. I woke up that morning so excited. 65 of my special peers, friends, colleagues were coming from my professional association, the National Speakers Association of Arizona, to my home, my beautiful home in Tempe, Arizona, where I was hosting the holiday party. I was so excited. I had everything was prepared and I got up that morning to go get in the shower and there in my beautiful sunken shower was about three inches of standing dirty water. I ran to the guest bathroom and sure enough there standing was about thir three inches of dirty water. Yes, friends and neighbors, my holiday home was smelling like a cesspool, an outhouse, that familiar smell and stench of an outhouse. It was gross. It was terrible. It was, oh my gosh, I jumped on the phone. It's before eight o'clock. No one is answering their phone. I'm calling plumbers, trying to get someone to get out there. By the third call, I am sure that the only thing that could hear my screeching were dogs, the inaudible sounds that dogs can hear. I was just at, at my wit's end. What was I going to do? The caterers were coming at 11. My house guests would be there by one. I was in a dead panic. Sure enough, I got a plumber. He came out by 10 o'clock. He's on all fours outside in my driveway, that little hole that's in the driveway, and he's tugging and pulling and struggling, and I'm right there on all fours helping him to will this clog out of my drain when suddenly he pulls back and almost falls to his back, and out came the biggest, largest root we had ever seen. He looked at me like he had just given birth, and then he said, do you hear that? No, I shook my head. Running water, this drain is cleared. I was so excited, I felt like my drain and myself had just been through an exorcism. I said, great, that's wonderful, I love you. Get your stuff, get in the truck, get out of here. The caterers will be here in 15 minutes. He was gone, the caterers came in, and I started splashing Clorox all over both bathrooms. And then all of a sudden the house is wafting with toxic fumes of bleach throughout the house. And they were like, oh my gosh, lady, what are you doing? And I was like, I had a small problem earlier. The intuition part comes because the night before I was at the grocery store and I had this overwhelming urge to buy a box of brownie mix. I make the best brownies. And I thought, well, no, I don't have time to do that before the party. But I went ahead and bought them and I didn't know why because I didn't normally do that unless I was making a batch of brownies which I give as gifts and tins and people love them. But I bought this brownie mix so all of a sudden I went brownie mix. I threw that batter together, I slammed it in the oven and in about 20 minutes my house was wafting to the amazing inviting aroma of brownies. My guests started to come in. I had gotten in the shower, ran to meet them at the door, and one of them said, oh, why are you wearing a shower cap on your head? I said, oh, it's a Southern tradition of welcome. Please come on in. And I jerked that shower cap off my head and I got ready and my guest arrived and had no idea. Everything was flowing just as it should. So my question is, when do you listen to your intuition? When do you ignore your intuition? See, that night I had this overwhelming urge, notion, this nudge to buy that box of brownies. The indigestion came the next day when, oh my gosh, my drains are clogged. I have guests coming. And the intuition to buy the brownies was the solution for the problem I had created with the Clorox. So where do you need to be, listen to your intuition? What is giving you indigestion that if you can creatively combine the two, you will come out smelling like a rose or at least like brownies? Go ahead and subscribe to this if you love what I'm doing. I'm always gonna give you a laughing and learnable story. And also go ahead and uh, 
give me a comment, leave me a comment. If you have a similar story or something that's wild and wacky and crazy, and I'll look forward to hearing from you.